Dear child of God, everything that God wants to do around your life is to see that you get your joy back. Is to see that everything that may have brought the heaviness of heart, they are all going away from your life. Is to see that the things the enemy have done to bring you reproach is dealing with each and every one of them. He said they will undo all that afflict thee. Dear child of God, there will be a reverse to that situation. That situation that tore your home apart. That situation that broke everything you had invested in when it comes to relationship. He's saying to you today, he will undo all the reverse effect of the enemy. That thing that had brought you low, that had brought you to poverty, is saying to you today, he will lift you up. The Lord God specializes in lifting those in the miry clay. The Lord God specializes in promoting people that have been demoted. The Lord God specializes in restoring joy and gladness to those who joy and gladness have been stolen from. The Lord God is a specialist in making sure that your fortunes are returned back to you. And he has caught the devil on this one. And he's saying to you today, every single thing that was stolen from you, it will be restored back unto you in sevenfold. Dear child of God, the Lord will save you. He had made a promise. And from every place you were unseated, he is going to bring you back. Yes, they drove you out. From that home that they drove you out from, the Lord is going to bring you back. From that business, from that office, from that company, the Lord will restore you back and you will be the head over all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jephthah was sent out. By the time they needed him back, they wanted him to be in rulership over each and every one of them. Jephthah was despised. He was disdained. But by the time they beckoned on him, they told him, please come and be our leader. Come and be our head. Come and be the king. From the same place they sent him out from, dear child of God, from this day and forth, you'll be sorted after. Just like the way Moses was needed and sorted after. The same place he was sent out from, the Lord God made him to be the head. He made him to be the God over Pharaoh. Dear child of God, the Lord will restore your original place and you will come back to your place of blessings and enthronement. So every single thing that had made you to sorrow in the past, every single thing that had made you to cry, just know today that the Lord is bringing it to an end and is going to bring a reproach to the enemy, such reproach that they will not be able to recover from because he is mighty in your midst and he will save you. He will cause you to rejoice again with everlasting joy. He will cause you to rest in his love and you would have a reason to sing. You would have a reason to continually sing all the days of your life. The things that made you sorrowful in the past, you will not find any of them ever again in the mighty name of Jesus because he has turned your mourning into dancing, because he has turned your heaviness, your weeping, your night of sorrows into mourning of praises and joy. In the mighty name of Jesus, all that the enemy has done against you, everything that the enemy has done against your family, today the Lord is saying to you that he will undo each and every one of them. He's saying to you, he will cancel the effect of it. He's saying to you, he will stop the works of the enemies from coming to pass in your life and in your family. In Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 19, the word of God said, Behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict thee. He's saying to you, he will undo everyone that afflict you. He will make sure that he cancels every one of them and reverse the effect of the things the enemies have done he will do this to save you he will do this to put an end to the evil of the enemy he will do this to drive the enemies away from you dear child of god the lord will do this so that you would have a reason to praise so that you would have a reason to rejoice 
and even most importantly he will do this so that you will not be put to shame he says behold at that time i will undo all that afflict thee and i will save her that altered and gather her that was driven out and i will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame he said he will bring fame he will bring praise to you in every single place where you have been put to shame oh this brings the scripture of isaiah 61 verse 7 to mind where he said for your confusion for your shame he will give you double everything you had experienced in life everything that had caused your heart to be heavy everything that had made you to sorrow dear child of god the lord is saying to you for that reason you will get a fame from him for that reason you would have something that will cause your heart to rejoice as he will cancel and reverse the effect of everything the enemy has done he said i will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly zephaniah 3 verse 18 dear child of god whatever it is that had made you sorrowful whatever it is that had made you to cry night and day whatever it is that have caused you to be burdened in your heart the lord is saying to you today he will come to your rescue he's saying to you today every single one who are sorrowful he will gather them and bring to them that consolation that they so deserve he said everyone that reproach you everyone who had brought this heaviness to you they would receive a recompense from him the child of god you would have a reason to rejoice again you would have a reason to be glad because the lord is showing up for you and when the scripture says he's showing up for you he made clear the one that is showing up for you he said the lord thy god in the midst of thee is mighty my god the god that you serve is mighty he is the man of war jehovah is his name and he can do all some things he can do everything he would do to save you so when the scripture made clear in verse 17 of zephaniah 3 he said the lord thy god in the midst of thee is mighty he will save he will rejoice over thee with joy he will rest in his love he will joy over thee with singing trust god to do this quickly because he has promised to undo he is set to accomplish it and his purpose oh god he said his purpose will stand he said every of his purpose will come to pass they will be established and this very purpose for your life god will cause it to stand and god will make it to be accomplished in the mighty name of jesus you will see better days you will enjoy victory you will enjoy praise all the days of your life in the mighty name of jesus christ amen there shall be celebration all the way there shall be victory all around you in jesus mighty name and no more will the enemies afflict you ever again no more will the enemies bring you down in pain and in shame and in ridicule in the mighty name of jesus because from this day henceforth the lord have cancelled it he had reversed the effect he had reversed the effect of the result and the actions that the enemy has done against your life in the mighty name of jesus you shall receive a congratulations everywhere you go because god has brought you victory in the mighty name of jesus and because the reproach that was set against your life had been taken off and he says everything that had put you to shame he will lift them off you will not you will not see shame ever again rather you will see praise and fame in the place of shame in the mighty name of jesus christ it is settled because god has settled it it is done because god has said it is your time already to bounce back it is your time already to take your place it is your time already to be restored and that joy that gladness that happiness will be found in your home in your life and in your family again he said behold he said you should look you should see it because he's restoring the fortunes of the tent of jacob he's restoring the fortunes of your life 
is restoring the fortunes of everything that is yours. Mention your name and say, Lord, you are restoring the fortunes of my family. You are restoring the fortunes of inspiration today. Whatever your name is, just tell yourself the Lord is restoring my fortune. He's restoring the fortune of my life. And he would have compassion on his dwelling. So the word of God said, the Lord will show you his compassion. He will show you his mercy. He said he will have compassion on your dwelling. And he had made us to know in Romans 9 verse 15. He said, I will have compassion upon whom I will have compassion. I will have mercy upon whom I choose to have mercy upon. The Lord compassion is coming to your life and is coming to your home. That even the thing you did not deserve, he will bring it to you because he has chosen to have compassion upon you. He said the city shall be rebuilt. His city will be rebuilt again on its mound and the place shall stand where it used to be. The Lord will restore you back to the place you used to be. The Lord will restore you back to that dignity you used to have. The Lord will restore you back to that authority that you used to command before you had a voice that when you speak, people would listen because your fortunes were gone. People did not want to listen to you again. The word of God says it will restore you to the place you used to be. That when you speak, everyone will stand on attention because they need to hear what you have to say. He said it will rebuild on the mound and it will place you in that palace. That you are supposed to be dear child of god you may have been sent out of your palace david was sent out of his palace but the lord restored him back and this is how we will do unto you the lord will bring back all those people that are supposed to be in your life the wives of david were taken and the lord made sure that these fortunes were restored back every of the blessings that were taken returned back unto him he was able to get his wives back Dear child of God, you will see the restoration of all things back. If there are some people that are supposed to truly be in your life that may have walked away, the Lord will restore them back because they are part of your fortunes. They are part of your blessings. They are part of your comfort. They are part of your peace of mind. Those people who are supposed to bring joy and laughter into your life that may have walked away for whatever reason, they are part of the fortunes that the Lord will restore back. Believe the Lord because he is going to restore them back. Believe the Lord because he is going to do it in a very spectacular way. The word of God in Psalms 126 says, The Lord has done spectacular things for us. We are overjoyed. My God, he will do it in a spectacular way. You will not be able to explain it. He said the Lord has done spectacular things for us. We are overjoyed. Restore our fortune. The Lord will restore your fortune. He said, Oh Lord, as you restore streams, to dry river beds. The Lord will restore every of your portion and he will do it supernaturally and it will cause you to rejoice, to be like a dream of the night when you will receive that phone call again, when you will hear the I'm sorry from that person you never thought you can ever hear I'm sorry from. You'll be amazed, you'll be in shock. It will be as though you are dreaming. That is because the Lord is telling you I am restoring your fortune. So when the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, it was as if we were dreaming. Then our mouths were filled with laughter and our tongues with joyful song. Then the nation said, the Lord has done spectacular things for them. It will be said of you. People around you will say, the Lord has done spectacular thing in that family. The Lord has done a spectacular thing in the life of our friend. Even your enemies will be able to say it. The Lord has done a spectacular thing in the life of our neighbor, in the life of that person, we thought that we cannot have anything wonderful to say about them anymore because they will see the Lord bring back that fortune that is truly yours, like the Lord did for Job. He said, and the Lord restored the fortunes of Job. My God, the Lord will restore everything that is yours, your blessings, your favor, your open doors, everything that is supposed to make your life good the Lord will restore. He said he restored it when he prayed for his friends and Job had twice as much as he had before. The Lord will bring it even double. He will bring it much more when he restores you back to the place you used to be, the place that is rightfully yours. He will do it in a grand style. For behold, in those days and at that time when I restored the fortunes of Judah 
and Jerusalem in those days and at that time dear child of God there is a time there is a moment there is a period that you know that your blessing came and the Lord is telling you today that he is restoring your fortunes he's telling you today that he is restoring your favor your blessings all that would make your life beautiful is ensuring that they are returned back onto you. Your fortunes are your wealth, are your riches, are your prosperity. Your fortunes are your good life. Your fortunes are the things that are pleasurable. Your fortunes are the things that bring you to comfort. And he's telling you that that time for every of this fortune, for every of those blessings to return back onto you have come. You may never have known that you had them. You may never have known that they were yours because they were covered from you, because they were stolen from you. But it's telling you this very moment that all of these fortunes, all of these blessings, all of this favor, all of these things that will cause your life to spring forth in joy, that will cause you to be comfortable, that will cause you to be a delightsome land. It is restored back onto you. It is coming to you. And you would know that your fortunes came. He says, may Israel's deliverance come from Zion. Psalms 14 verse 7. When the Lord restores the fortunes of his people, Jacob will rejoice and Israel will be glad. The Lord will bring a gladness to your life. He will bring such level of rejoicing to your heart that will make you know that God delivered you. That would make you know that God came through for you. That would make you know that your fortunes had come and never to go anymore. He said, may Israel's deliverance come from Zion when the Lord restores the fortunes of his people. So when the Lord restores the fortunes of his people, it means you had come into your time of deliverance. It means you had come into that time that you will begin to enjoy the blessings of the Lord. O Thus says the Lord, Behold, I will restore the fortunes of the tents of Jacob. The Lord is telling you today, I would restore the fortunes of your household. Whatever your name is, put it there. He said, Behold, I will restore the fortunes of the tents of Jacob. Tell yourself, the Lord is restoring the fortune of my family. Mention the name of your family. Mention the name of your household. Mention the name of everyone you want to see this restoration return back. And he's telling you they will be restored. The Lord is visiting your home. He's visiting your clan. He's visiting your family. Those fortune, those things that are supposed to cause you to live in peace and harmony that was far away from you. And you discovered in your home they had been fighting and fighting because the fortunes had been gone. The Lord is restoring it and as he made and did for the tent of Jacob that he rejoiced and he did for Israel that they were glad. He will bring it also to your home. That joy that had been far, you will see it back in your life. You will see it back in your family. That excitement, that oneness, that thing that should be seen in a family that had died a natural death because fortunes were far, because your blessings were far because your prosperity was gone, because the things that makes a family remain together was no more in your life. The Lord is restoring it. And you will know that God has been faithful. You will know that the Lord has been favorable unto your land. And you know that the Lord has restored all the fortunes that are yours. You will know that the Lord has been good to you. And you would have a cause to testify in Jesus' mighty name. For behold, days are coming, declares the Lord. Jeremiah 30 verse 3 When I will restore the fortunes of my people Israel and Judah The Lord says I will also bring them back to the land that I gave to their forefathers And they shall possess it Dear child of God, you will possess your possession You will possess all of your blessings You will possess your wealth You will possess all the riches that are yours And you will have a cause to testify You will have a cause to say God, you are good you will have a cause to say, God, you are faithful. You will have a cause to say, thank you for all of these fortunes that you have restored. And you will have a cause to rejoice 
all the days of your life because the Lord have done great things for you. Congratulations, beloved. Your fortunes are restored. And thanks be unto God who have done these great wonders, who have done these spectacular things for each and every one of us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.